just headed back to the house. We're gonna get ready for work for the day. Normally, we would go to Bodie after this, but I can't take cameras into Bodie. Hey Steph, how are you today? I love the message that you just sent about Johnny. Yes, um, sales. It's like a whole art in the science. So um, definitely hang on to him. Listen to every word. Implement it into what you're doing. And then let me know how you make out with that lady today on the coaching stuff because I am so excited to hear about it. For me, I think it's a balance of leveraging time, right? So like if I'm waiting around five minutes for somebody, like I will try and answer my Voxers, right? Or I will try and check in with the team to make sure that there's nothing that they need for me. Or I will, you know, just leverage any time that I have so that like there's not a lot of downtime in the time that I work. Because for me, I keep a really tight schedule and I'm really disciplined in my schedule. So it's it's about maximizing my work time so that when I can unplug, I like really truly unplug so I have that present time with the kids. Hi! Hi, Courtney. Yeah, but that name is good. We grabbed the Legos. And you saw trucks. Trucks! As long as I don't have like calls right away, I usually spend just a few minutes everything. You know you like that. What are you eating? <laughs> are you gonna eat it? Oh. <laughs> I love you, Easton. I love you. <laughs> I know, buddy. Wanna hug? Give me one big hug before I go. I usually spend a little bit of time with Easton, not much, but give him, you know, five, 10 minutes of hugs and snuggles and just him and me time. Once I do that, I then shower, have a usually a protein shake of some sort um, and get into working. I just, I really want to be able to live my very best life. Like whatever I dream of, I want to be able to make that come to fruition. And so for me, I think the driver is, is, is a couple of things, you know, the impact, right? The impact of being able to help more people live a lifestyle that they love. Like, and I really try to embody that each and every day. And I think like, I want these kids to look up to me and be like, look, mom can do whatever she wants to do and create whatever she wants to create. And I want them to feel inspired to do the same, whatever that is for them. I'm gonna get ready for the day. Yeah, so the daily huddle is a meeting that we do daily with the team to go over numbers and progress towards our quarterly goals. Um, we go through like everybody's weekly commitments. We go through um, who is caught being awesome, if there's any critical issues that came up, um, and just in general, kind of like a quick 15 to 20 minute connection with the team each and every day to make sure there is nothing stopping people from getting their stuff done. Hello, people. I'm sitting there waiting for Andrew. I'm like, wait. No, nope. Andrew's right there. All right, let's go through the numbers. We're up to 1485 podcast downloads and looks like 15 leads. Uh, so 63 podcast downloads yesterday and 26 uh, today so far. Uh, let's go to the social media really quick. 1524, so we're up one. Up three on the personal page. YouTube's up one. I saw that, I forwarded that to you guys. Someone's getting ready for this video, apparently. I don't know how they even found us. That's awesome, though. Sorry. Commitments. <laughs> uh, Jamie, anything? Uh, I'm $10,000, $10,500 closer to my sales goal. Okay. Um, I'm recording YouTube videos right now. Did you do the podcast? I have not, and I have 12 more to do. So no, I have not done all 12. <laughs> Probably gonna be Friday Mad Marathon podcast day. 
So Chloe, how's your week going? Um, I did what was it? I did the Summit Kids ad copy. Uh, I didn't know if you got a chance to look at that. And then I was working on the newsletter today, and I'm pretty much done with the Spectrum Kids two weeks content. I just have to like go back in and run it through Grammarly. Okay. Uh, Andrew, <laughs> I think I updated as of yesterday. Yeah, I think I'm updated as of yesterday. I haven't really looked at it yet today. I you think you're, you're on pace for this week. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can put yes to the shoot with Jamie. He's here. That's true. Yeah. And Brianna. Um, mine is pretty updated. I'm working on the process for posting in groups task. I should have that done today, and um, just working on the holiday graphics. Awesome. Okay. Uh, who was caught being awesome yesterday? Everyone's been really awesome lately. So I just think everybody's been getting their tasks crushed each and every week. So that to me is really really important. So um, clients are happy, and yeah, so everyone's been awesome. It's been mentioned a couple times by Brianna for doing the uh, layout of the page. I just totally stole that for the Coming Soon page. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I also agree with Jamie that everyone has just been awesome. It's been good. Awesome. I'm, I'm camera ready today, guys. <laughs> I even washed my hair. <laughs> All right, critical issues. Uh, well, the Wednesday, anything stopping you from completing your task this week? Andrew, I know you needed the password for sound up. I had sent that to Jamie. Oh, okay. You sent it to me? As a password I reset. I a password reset on there. My only other issue is, Chloe, can you just take a look at the text on the Coming Soon page for me? Yeah. And write something for the podcast, and then see if you want to clean up the about part. Okay. All right, well, we'll talk to everyone soon. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. bye. Thanks, guys. I think overall that, like, from the beginning, it's always been a challenge. Being an entrepreneur, in my opinion, is part of your personality. Um, I have always been an entrepreneur. I knew since the age of 12 I wanted to own my own business. But I think, you know, for me, it, it's just a continual journey of growth. Like, I know right now I'm experiencing a growth spurt because like I feel uncomfortable and I feel lots of noise and whenever I <laughs> experience that, you know, you come out on the other side and in the in in you know in the past, right? Especially in my early stages in my career, um, I would go through that growth spurt and then I would like kind of let myself plateau and that I would go and dive back into learning. And these days I'm just I want to be in this constant state of growth so that I'm growing, the business is growing, and it keeps like momentum going versus kind of like plateauing out and then having to get re-engaged again and utterly changed due to the fact that I've just immersed myself in learning and growth. If that's the one thing that's holding you back from the life of your dreams, you know, don't you wanna do that? Who would think videoing and driving would be this hard? So I am working on a podcast and one of the processes that I go through when coming up with a topic for a podcast or really like creating the podcast is kind of like what is the concept for the podcast.